Hey guys, Duke here. Let me ask you a question. Do you own an M53 or M54 series mask? Is the nose cup in your M53 or M54 series mask too small or too large? Well, I've got a solution for you because today I'm going to be doing more of a technical review because I am going to instruct you how to replace the nose cup in your M53 or M54 series mask with a different nose cup in your proper size. Um, I should go out on record and say that this is only limited to a specific uh, range of nose cup sizes. I will post a size chart at the end of the video for you to learn about what nose cups will fit in your face piece size. I have a medium here and so I can fit a size large uh, because the medium nose cup in my medium M53 mask is a bit too small as I've mentioned in previous reviews. So I was finally able to get uh, a hold of a size large nose cup which I have actually tested off camera. It does fit me perfectly so I will be showing you how to replace it. So first right off the bat you are going to want to invert the head harness. So you will take one strap at a time, loop it over one side, uh, you don't have to remove any external accessories as far as I know. Uh, it doesn't really make it any easier or more difficult. It's just kind of there. So apologies for the awkwardness here. I could do this a lot better if I wasn't sitting behind my phone right now. Um, but anyways, you get that inverted. Then you will pry open the chin cup and you can see the microphone down in there. You are going to want to remove that. You just simply grasp it by the amplifier right there and it pulls right out. And apologies if the uh, camera is not focused in. Give me one second. Um, trying to get it focused here, folks. I apologize. There we go. So once you have the internal microphone removed, you can start to pull out the nose cup. Now the manual will state that you will, that you should pull out the drinking tube. However, these are pressure fit onto that uh, lever barb, so I would not recommend doing this. You can just as easily replace the nose cup without having to remove the internal drink tube. So completely bypass this step entirely. So where where I like to start is around the flange of the uh, VREU outlet valve assembly, uh, where you just you know peel it off, comes off like that, and you just kind of work around from there, and then. After that, you grab the bottom of the chin cup here and pull it off of the comms and drinking tube box, and it should uh, all just pop off, like so. So now that you have your nose cup isolated, you can give you a, give you a good impression of the size differences. Obviously, the medium is much smaller in height. Uh, I don't believe they extend outwards all that much more, which is what I really love about the M53 series nose cups, is that unlike the M45 nose cups, these don't extend outwards into your face as they increase in size. They simply just go up, which is uh, which is what I need personally. So I absolutely love this feature, um, which is why the large nose cup works perfectly for me now that I've replaced it, or now that I'm going to replace it. But anyways, you can see there, he, uh, this is the more difficult area to seat your nose cup around, that little box, that little triangular box down there with the drinking lever, the comms port, and the uh, the adapter cap, I guess you could call it. But anyways, what you'll want to do is you'll locate the upper leftmost hole on the bottom of the nose cup, and you will route the drinking tube through that, as you can see I'm doing here. Then reach inside, start to pull it through while prying back the chin cup, and then just kind of push that down to there. And then what you're going to want to do is sort of feel around, mostly pushing down on the uh, the side for the drinking adapter cover, or cap. And then you just sort of push down in the center, and you kind of just work around it. It's a bit difficult, and it actually may help if you try and see the bottom of the flange on the outlet valve assembly first. So just push down on that, just push it underneath that lip until it pops into place, like so. And then you sort of work your fingers around that rim, uh, as, as innuendo as that sounds. And you will push the nose cup all the way up to the top until it all snaps into place there. And then you can go back, if, if you haven't already done it, like I can't because I'm off camera, just see, um, push your fingers around the exterior of the bottom of the nose cup and make sure it is fully seated in that plastic box. And then there you have it. You have fully replaced your M53 or M54 series nose cup and obviously do a positive and neg negative pressure seal check. Not that you really need to because this is an internal component, but it's good to do it anyways just to make sure everything's sealing properly. Um, and obviously you do that every time before you don the mask. And, uh, and before I forget, last step, obviously replace the microphone. You should, uh, probably my least favorite um, part about disassembling the M53 is this microphone just because it is very finicky to install, but... Obviously, I can get it in once I'm looking down into it. Um, so there you have it. Nose cup replaced. 
all good now. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, corrections, or concerns, drop them down in the comments below, uh, hopefully relating to the video. Uh, but I'm Duke, and I will see you all later.